Got a whole rob at Jags. Ordered up some five sixteenths. What? What? Oh. Okay, let's go poop. Did he leave it going? Oh yeah. no. Here you go, take two. <clears throat> take two. I'll wait for the furnace. I gotta take a piss quick. Jesus! Oh. Jay's bent ass tranny lines. Mm -hmm. Finally, 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 today. Whipped up our own homebrew version. We rolled our own. We unrolled them and then we rolled our own. We we did that today. First time I worked on the car in a long time. But I'm back at it. Let's keep it going. Oh no. What's that? Did you just f*** your brain? An ashtray. An ashtray? Oh no. Oh no, we gotta go back to Caesar's Palace and get a new one. I'm ready. Okay. Hey everybody, this is Jabo, Bad Tree Productions. Welcome back. Uh, so previous episode, we did a headlight upgrade, uh, made our headlights 200% brighter. Uh, there was a little concern with uh, the complexity of the wiring. Okay, so here I'll just kind of run, run through that real quick. So basically what you're gonna do is you're going to extract your harness from the front of the car. And that runs from left to right here, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this as your your pattern to to upgrade all the wires to 12 gauge. And I believe these are like a 16 gauge wires, so they're pretty small. So you're gonna follow this harness uh, into this area and you're gonna pick up your high and low beam lights, okay? So this box is maybe a little intimidating and you don't need to go, you don't need to be this elaborate with it, but but we've got extra, we've got extra relays in here for fan, for fuel pump. Uh, maybe we'll run our horn in here and then we've got a, a spare one for, for a future upgrade of some sort. Your setup, if you're just doing the headlights, doesn't have to be this elaborate. Uh, you can actually just get the, the relays themselves and they've got a little tab uh, that you can actually screw and mount it, like say on the inner fender apron here, or fender well. Uh, you can actually contain, contain these two relays underneath your battery tray this car doesn't have a battery tray but you could actually hide this under the battery tray and it would uh it would make give it a nice neat appearance nobody'd ever know you know that you had that that um uh, that upgrade so so that's all you're doing so basically you're like i said you're uh you're finding your two uh high and low beam light wires in this part of the harness and then you, these are going to be the actual trigger wires then that that trigger the relay and then uh the relay once it kicks on you'll end up with direct battery voltage uh operating your headlights so so that's all there is to that okay so and then uh we had another comment on uh our fuel our fuel system upgrade so uh, it's a pretty simple upgrade this will this will really go a long way into preventing like say vapor lock in the summertime i don't know if you've ever experienced that with your stock fuel system in your stock fuel system, uh, I'm guessing probably consists of like a 5 16 line from the from the tank to the fuel pump that's actually mounted to your your engine uh, that's actually soaking up a lot of heat. So nowadays we have this uh, witch's brew gas that just it's not as stable as it or it's not as good as it used to be back in the 60s 70s when these cars were built you know and they operated on that kind of stuff and it worked out really good. Well, the modern stuff has a tendency to um, evaporate uh quicker uh it can boil a lot easier so anything you can do to isolate the fuel system from the the engine will go a long way into uh um, allowing your engine to start a lot faster a lot quicker so that's kind of what this system does so <clears throat> uh, we installed a new tank and so with the tank we uh we ordered a pickup uh the the tank pickup and we specified that it have a, a three eighths uh three eighths uh, outlet that'll go to the to the carburetor and it also has a quarter inch return nipple okay so so from the tank this is all three inch, three eighths inch line going all the way up to the uh, the regulator but first it goes through our filter this was a uh, uh, moroso or no no mallory. Uh, mallory filter and then it goes to a mallory pump so this i bought this on ebay for 50 bucks and it came with a brand new filter uh, so that that you know it's kind of an expensive filter, I guess, but um, but anyway, you're able to unscrew many, that and and swap it out and, you know and change it. Micron it is. No, but it's like a it's like a regular, you know, it looks like a regular fuel filter cartridge, I guess, in there. So, 
uh, it should pick up real fine particles so from there so this will prevent trash from getting into your pump then and destroying the pump and the pump is actually a, a mallory uh 140 uh, gallon per hour pump it's a gear rater style so uh, uh from the pump then it goes to your um regulator right right here okay and so on this side of the regulator uh we'll, we plumbed in a gauge pressure gauge we'll set this gauge to seven pounds for the carburetor okay that'll feed that carburetor this side we've got a quarter inch return line uh these are all am fittings uh i believe that's uh what what size fitting is that blake is that three eighths three eighths pipe fitting or it's or quarter inch quarter inch inner diameter three eighths outer okay and these are these are dash four an fittings for your your tubes okay so okay so the tank cost us 80 bucks uh the pickup unit was um uh, about 36 bucks i think on ebay uh filter was 50 that was used on ebay the pump itself that can be the expensive part um that was i think i paid 60 bucks for it on ebay it was used uh these pumps are totally rebuildable so you can get all all fresh parts on it and and uh and even the brushes you can get the brushes new and stuff like that if that if yours requires that uh the regulator was uh the regulator was donated um uh, from a friend so was the gauge so that didn't that didn't really cost anything a quarter inch return line was about uh 15 bucks as was the three eighths uh uh feed line was about was about 15 20 bucks i think so missing anything there oh this was uh the line to the carburetor was like 24 25 bucks and that's that's a 3 8 uh braided braided steel line or whatever well we just kind of want to go over the lights aren't drawn how easy this is it's not really that complicated uh so just embrace that there's plenty on the internet about it too so do a little research on it and uh yeah there you go you'll be good to go you'll actually end up with a nice cool fuel right here all the time so so vapor lock issues will be a thing of the past so it's just a cool setup mm -hmm. it'll start like efi every time yeah we got about 200 bucks in the system i'm thinking i don't know if you did the math while i was kind of blurring everything out but it was about it was 200 bucks i think probably for everything uh, the little fittings they were kind of a, they're kind of an, they're kind of expensive i guess for what they are they're you know uh three bucks six bucks maybe for these uh you need the tube sleeves too so but anyway yeah there you go that's that here we's getting the bumper brackets all tightened up yes Battery box buttoned up. Good job, Jeremy. I try. I noticed there's no beer in your hand, but it's fucking early yet. You guys got here like at three. <laughs> it was 1:30 when I got here. So what are we doing today, Jay? So let's see this episode. We're going to try to focus on uh, some, you know, odds and ends like as usual. Uh, let's see. When we when I first started to acquire parts for this, I ordered uh, new transmission lines for it. Because they're kind of sprawled out here. Okay, we made the mistake of uh, dropping the motor and transmission of the car without without actually uh, throwing the transmission lines on with the engine and transmission. It would have worked out a lot better. Uh, this ended up being just a pain in the ass. Uh, and then when he, when I tightened these, I couldn't really see what the hell I was doing. Well, I ended up twisting this line. So that's unacceptable. Uh, this one here is about kind of the same. It's kind of butchered up. Uh, so if you're doing this and you got new lines or whatever, try to install them with the engine and transmission, then lower the whole works into the car. Uh, it'll just work a lot better for you. So what we're going to do is we picked up some, uh, I believe that's 5 16 too. I mean, we picked up some 5 16 aluminum line. So we're gonna we're gonna straighten this out. Um, so when you're dealing with aluminum, you've got to you sh I guess you should probably incorporate uh, oh 5 an uh, fittings. So and that's what we got here. So we got the tube nuts, we got the sleeves. Uh, I got these corresponding. I think this is eighth inch national pipe thread. This will uh, screw into the transmission ports. I got two or three of those. Um, so anyway, that's uh, 
kind of where we're at, so we're gonna do that. Uh, yeah, you know, we had a little dilemma on. Um, let's see, these lines actually run real tight, real tight to the engine, so and they come into contact with the header in places, so you don't want heat, you know, touching your transmission lines. So we're gonna actually run the lines from the transmission to the the frame rail. I was kind of on the fence about doing that, but that's what we're gonna do. So we came to the conclusion we're gonna run it along this this frame rail here, and then up up to our connections uh for the transmission cooler so. it's gonna be best it's gonna be great mm -hmm. it'll be custom right on j handmade mm -hmm. all right be back can you see me yes the line it's in focus. have you rolled it out before to roll it out roll it out my simple trick is have a buddy stand right there Get your line on the floor, put your foot on it, Jay, and then roll it against. Roll it out, and now, Jay, you can let go. Look at it, it's flat as can be. A nice straight piece of line to work with. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> otherwise, if you try to out roll it by hand, and it you know, looks It'll like. It'll turn into a wave, yeah. won't it? Yeah. But that's way, that's, that's choice. That's way you're better. More or less. Yep. Yeah. He sees it. I sees it. He cuts it. I cuts it. And when using a tubing cutter, you want to continue one way. You don't want to rock it back and forth. Because then you can fold over the, you can fold a burr over inside the tubing line itself. You don't want to crank down on it too tight. Oh, let me just unroll a little bit of this. Just enough. So I'm not hitting anything. Rotation, nice and loose. Get a little bit of crank. <laughs> I had to install so many LP lines. <laughs> I just If you take your time and you take pride in your work, it'll look cleaner, it'll be nicer, and you'll get the job done faster. Quality results. Mm -hmm. Quality goes in your And look at that. Look at that. Quality goes in before the name goes on. <laughs> I forgot about that. Remember that joke? One of the best cut lines you ever seen. What joke? All right. Where's the D burr? That little thing just does the number, don't it? Mm-hmm. D burring the unit. Good? Yeah, sure. I can't see. Oh, you were on my glasses, and I got on it. Mm. Oh, you're just. What do you think? What? what do push. You think? There you go. <laughs> Damn, LB White Dieter always kicking on whenever I turn the camera on. What are you doing here, J-Bo? Oh, putting the fitting on the... Yeah, this 5 16 line, see, it requires a, a dash 5 and tube nut and a corresponding tube sleeve. And they go in like this. And I put some tape here so it wouldn't go beyond that point. I'm going to flare it. You should use, what, a 37 degree flare yes, somewhere thing for this? Flare. This is 45 here, so... Oh, 45. This is 45. Oh, okay. But it should be 37, so just proceed with caution. Because you can actually split this stuff with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Do you have a 37 degree mandrel? I've got a couple. I have no idea what they are. Oh, you don't know what? Yeah, I don't know. One, oh. One's for break. I don't know what break is. What do you mean? They pop that. Their fancy drill bit. Oh, yeah. Whatever. What? Yeah, we had a pile of them. 
Why did we have a pile of them? Because Descroda dropped a bunch of them off from Fisk now. Or Fisk later. I can't even see what the hell I'm doing. Does that look good to you? Yeah. But I don't know who yeah. put in here or how they got in here. Hey, it looks okay. You look at it. Whatever. We got them now. Yeah, it looks fine. Oh, there's no trouble down there. Yep, pretty much. I hate that. <laughs> is that. Is that not. You put it on backwards. Shut your ass. Literally. No, I didn't. <sighs> Why isn't that slipping over the. Let me see it. Or, I almost thought about getting one from. Let me feel like it. A mini one from Bass now. Loaded. Yeah. Like three, four hundred bucks. Yeah. What's the matter, dude? What? And it comes. I mean, that'd be worth. Is the, the aluminum flare too much? You know, to have someone go. It's through. not getting by the sleeve. Right, you know, yeah. The little. This one comes loaded. I've been doing better. Anyway, this one got mixed up in our package of them. It's a little bit. Dink is fierce inside like here. Oh, well, the rest of them in the pack are the right size. Don't get it. Yeah. Where'd you get it from, Jags? I don't know. It says Earls on it, so I'm not oh. sure where I got it. What was it? Out around? It was the wrong size altogether. What? Yeah, it was a. It was, a it was like a centimeter it's a smaller. Five, it's a five a.m. fitting, but it was. Just, just a just a RCH bigger. Where's that caliper at? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are the batteries dead in that one? <laughs> you stop fucking laughing so fucking much about that. <laughs> what about the timer? What timer? I don't know. The internal timer went off. It's oh, been, it's been five minutes. <laughs> Whew. It's been like two hours now. Where have you been? Zero Fox. I'm cracking my first beer. Oh jeez. me? Yeah. In days. No, I'm not kidding you. What the hell? In dog days. Oh no. That's like three so, weeks. That was like fucking four hours since you had a beer. It was not. All right, just got done manipulating some aluminium line around in here. And our back line, front line. Uh, you go over the torsion bar, up to the frame rail, and then runs along the frame rail underneath the, what is that, the proportionary valve for the brakes. And then it follows the frame rail up to the front where our tranny cooler's at. So, Jay can probably show you that side. Mm-hmm. Terminate up here, connected to them rubber hoses. What is this? Not rocket science. Hmm? All right. It's, it's dead. Well, good, Blake? Yeah. All right. Eat some Chinese. Mm, really yeah. good. She's not satisfied. We'll be almost ready to fire this. SOB up soon. Mm -hmm. In 2023. Yeah, what the hell was that about? What? Someone said 2023. <laughs> That's a comment. That's my other YouTube account. Some Canadian. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Thinking he's all high and mighty because he's I use, more I, use Nord. Nord, I use Nord VPN so I can have another account in Canada and talk <laughs> shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that why my internet's been spiking? You're going to do what now? <laughs> I'm going to router you a new grill out of some plywood. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No. I'll, I'll do it when you leave. Grill. I'll this do it when you leave. leave. Battery's probably low. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Are you kidding me? I was touching the wrong part before. <laughs> I think I broke it. You probably did. I think you gotta be touching the, the metallic part. You touched Shock the wrong marker. part again. Shock marker. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna shock you, dude. 
You did break it, didn't you? No, I'm touching this part. Oh. I barely. <clears throat> it's pretty weak. I don't like it. <laughs> Ooh, that might be a sucker to get on now. Spit on it. Mm -hmm. Jeremy, there you go. Good enough. Yeah. All right. Good enough for the girls we have children with. Lay them down there and cut the hoses to length and get some hose clamps on them. Length. There you go. Length. Make it so number one. Come to length. I'll find some hose clamps. We're going to take a break in the action right now. The action? Word from our sponsor. The action. What have we been doing? Not a Tons of action. Oh, okay. From a word from our sponsor. Who is that? It's our own clothing. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Go buy some shit. Here's a sweatshirt. There's a sweatshirt. That one's all ruined. Shut Lord up. Nixon. Buy it. All proceeds will go towards the barracuda. The care and feeding of Blake. Um, and back from the break with more action. You want to, we gotta cut those hoses. Wherever Jay wants them cut, just cut them where they need to be cut. I gotta take this jacket off. Be this cut right BTP there. sweatshirt is just too comfortable and warm. Oh, I know. That I gotta peel a layer off. Hmm. I mean, it's like a fleecy type material. Yeah, the ones you it's order really won't be like these. They'll be worse. It'll be better. Yeah. <laughs> They'll look like Jay's, but not as holy. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, don't weld with these on. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, because the BBs go right through them. Mm hmm. This tube's probably too dinkus for this cutter. Oh, it could be. Manipulate it. No. Oh, that's a nice square cut. It's the perfect. Okay. Was it a nice square cut, Jay? Mm hmm. Was it? Help me. <laughs> Did you ever see that show? The Fly? The 1950s one? Blake? Yeah. No. You did? No. No, where he's screaming, help me? Yeah. Yeah, I seen. Oh, just that, that part, probably just that clip. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep before it came on. I did too. Oh, I got it. It didn't cut through this one. I mean, oh. got through most of it. You need a good knife. Yeah. Is there, a, is there a utility right there, Ty? I got it. Oh, he got it. Maybe. Nothing. Got it. All right. Oh. Done. Yeah, almost. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anyway, you'll see these lines run to our cooler. Cooler's up front here. Uh, Jeremy zip tied it, or zip, it's a zipper like doodad thing. Um, you can see that or not, or probably not. Can, kinda. Yeah. No. It's these things. They're made especially for zipping fans and stuff and whatnot to your radiator. That's forgotten footage, Jeremy doing that. I'll have to try to find that. What's that? Oh. Him throwing all this together up yeah. here. I gotta find it. All right, nuts and bolts. 90% of our viewers are from the Midwest and 75% of those viewers have a koi pond in their backyard. Don't believe me? Look out your back window. You see that thing that looks like a koi pond? That's a koi pond. You see the heater in the middle of the koi pond? Depending on the 
version or brand you got, it's using 1500 to 300 watts of electricity. Mine right now is a 300 watt version. When the blue light goes off, that means it's off. But five seconds later, it goes back on and stays on for like three hours. It's the equivalent of having three 100 watt light bulbs burning in your house. So just turn all the fucking lights on in the house. All right, training lines are run. <laughs> Let's try it. Cover your balls. All right, be careful. Well, he's gonna cut off an ear on the tranny. It was an assembly line aid, but it's. Like <laughs> Going? Mm-hmm. Clog up pretty good. Yeah, it's a little clogged. I'll run it reverse. Sweet. I've cut them off before. There's four of them. Just whacked them off. Now yeah. or whatever. Jeremy's. <laughs> So there's five of them. I didn't say shit. <laughs> when he waxes off. <laughs> there's five knuckles. <laughs> Jesus. On today's episode, we actually get something done. Only because I helped. Yes. Would you get in your corner and yeah, shut the... <laughs> trying to film an outro over here. Go next door to your own house. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're done tonight. <sighs> Got the old lines off. New custom J-Craft lines installed. Oh, they're going to be white. That's all right. Quiet. We're doing an outro. <laughs> ah, you the eater. Jeremy helped. And then we cut some tabs off and put some dipstick tubes in, and that's it yeah, for tonight. I'm still working on that, yeah, but hmm. we'll get her done. Jay's got to work uh, tomorrow? Nope, uh, nope. Yep. How many days? Just a couple. I got the weekend off. So, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Sweet. Yeah, that'll be nice. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a cold son of a bitch. Right, it's like right. freezing rain tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, exhaust. Not yet. Why, why not yet? We're not done. Done with what? We're going to touch this bitch off with open headers. No, 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 no. Yes, we Let's are. Let's get the damn exhaust on it. Anyway, while open, it's up. Open headers. We'll put some Whatever. side dumps on her. Um, what the fuck? Never mind. I'll talk about that later. What? M Mopar oh. City. Oh, that, uh, that, uh. Oh, in Illinois. 159 miles away. Yeah. yeah it's not that far. So right? I could... Barely make it on one tank of gas with my car. Okay. Your car. My dart. Right. Oh, okay. Because I have a 16 gallon tank. Yeah. What do you think about driving that down? Well, what are we doing this? Let's get together. On well, that. we got to figure out when we can do it. Right. And hey, how about a shout out to a uh, future YouTube star, uh, Terry's Tales? Keep yeah. An eye out for that. <laughs> that might yeah, be you never a, know. That once might be a, a week thing. or once a month right? thing. We'll see how it goes. Baby I just, steps. I want to see the yeah. image of a old man in a wing back chair with a right, right. Well, I'll take him. Book. Let's take him to Goodwill and get him like a old suit, smoking jacket. Yeah, right. right. He's gonna have to start smoking. Too. He's gonna need one of them big leather chairs with the thumbtacks all the way around it. Tyler, do you have any pipes laying? Peckerwoods Customs. <laughs> That'd be another future <laughs> YouTube no. channel. I mean, oh, out of Australia. Why not? Yeah. yeah, that'd be cool to see, I think. See his upside down fish. Be cool to see some stuff from uh, Jason <laughs> Chaffin. <laughs> his upside down fish. I get it. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Who's yeah. your buddy from Texas that works on the Rams? Oh, dut, dut, dud. Shut dut, the fuck dut, up. Dut, dut, dut. Duddy, Duddy's Adventures. Yeah. There you go. I like yeah. this stuff. It's good. Yeah, good, good channel. Mm. Yeah, if you get a chance, uh, I'll throw a link up here to Duddy's uh, Adventures. Uh, he works on old Dodge trucks. Uh, he's he's entertaining. Funny. Yeah, I like he's it. funny. I do too. Yeah, good good show. Don't forget Rapid Transit Garage. 
Rabid. Yep, yeah, Rabid Transit Garage. Uh, yes. Yeah. Scott's anyway. Speed Shop. Can't forget him. Yeah, you bet. Oh, bet. Scotty showed us. Yeah. Uh, or uh, Jedediah. Yeah. yeah. Showed us and his, uh, he fixed the headers on Jezebel. I got to watch that video. Dude, it's, yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah. He's got some sick dance moves. I mean, they make you sick watching him dance. Oh, no. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no. I'm no. sorry, Chad. I'm sorry, brother, but uh, <laughs> you need to talk John Travolta. <laughs> And then Bigfoots and Mopars up in Minnesota. Yeah. He's uh, chipping away on his Coronet. I think yeah. that's it, right? Zip ties and bias flies, Uncle Tony's garage. Yeah. Um, bias grip um, garage. Thunderhead 289. Just go on to our Bad Tree Productions Facebook page. It's, basic, it's turned into a community of YouTube channels, basically. So if you want to broaden your horizons of not watching bullshit like this and you want to watch some other quality entertainment mm. i recommend you go to our bullshit facebook page rude mopar dude yeah rude mopar dude just started the channel mm -hmm. that's good and uh oh john woolburn from uncle tony's garage he's got his own channel too he just built the 904 for the plan z dart mm, okay yeah yeah He's a good that guy. That thing's going to be cool. Right. It, yeah. Do you hear that Slant 6 rap? I was... Uh, I, every day I'm like 50-50 on like, should I have kept the Slant 6 in well, my dark? I'm looking out the window at the duster. I know, I right? Video, I'm, I'm like... And it's all there. Hmm. Slant 6 build? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that, that car, his car, that's a purpose-built car. I mean, that's a... Swiss cheese, yeah. Right, right. So it only weighs 2,000 pounds. With him so, in it, probably. With you in it, he's 23. Shut up. But yeah, join the yeah. Facebook page. It's a big, it's a community. If you got your own automotive channel, join it. Uh, yeah. It's a private page, so you can't just get in. You got to answer one us. question. What kind of car do you drive? What is the question? What Something. kind of car do you oh. drive? Right. So, yeah, join that and broaden your horizons and discover other channels. You don't have like to just watch you. us, or if you just stumbled across us, thanks for uh, stumbling across us and sticking with us till this part of the video. Long time coming. Yeah. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, share this page, or share this channel with your friends. If you don't have friends, start other YouTube accounts and share with those accounts. Mm-hmm. Oh, for Is sure. legal? Out. Like GameStop trading or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, comment, comment, comment. Yeah, love the comments. Yeah, and we love you guys. You bet. So stick around for blooper clip. Oh, blooper clip. Muddy minnow bait. <laughs>